All right, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. Friday afternoon. So, uh, doing another night shift tonight. Already knew it was coming. No big deal. So, uh, you know, another one of those things. No problems. So, in the last video, I told folks that they had a shave they wanted to see to let me know about it. And we would get back around to some of the stuff we haven't visited in a while. So, there were a couple of suggestions. One was the, uh, the Lady Gillette. And the other one uh, was the Clarks. And uh, we're going to get around to doing the Lady Gillette. That's a family razor, as you might remember. But today, we're going to do the Clarks. This is a Clark Silver King. And it was patented in 1911, looks like. This one's in okay shape. Now, I didn't go and shine it up and clean it up and everything. This one does have a crack in the handle. Don't know if you can see the crack in the handle. But it's still, uh, it doesn't affect the shave any at all yet. When it gets to where it does, I'll get some super glue or something out after it, and away we go. But the neat thing about the Clarks is the way it holds the blade, and it's got this plate in it that the uh, handle screws up against. So what you do is, is you unscrew the handle, and you take a blade, in this case a pile of uh, super, and you slide the blade down so that it's over the plate and under the blade guide thingies there on the side, and then you slide it down until it gets to the blade stops like so and then you tighten the handle up and when you tighten the handle up it pushes the plate up against the bottom of the blade that pushes the blade up against the blade stops on the side there and that's what holds your blade in now they made an improved model of this a second model whatever and it actually has two of the little blade catch thingies on the side now t white has one of those however i can see where that would be a good improvement but uh this one works just fine the way it is it is an open comb razor, so this will qualify for OC Timber. October, OC, October. Not Timber, October. Could be Timber. I could like it. But anyway, hey, we don't edit around here. You know what I'm saying? What you see is what you get. All right. So I had to run out of town this morning. And uh, while I was out over in Lafayette, I stopped by the store because I'm almost out of... Uh, classic vanilla here so I picked up a backup ready to go when I run out but I was walking down the shave aisle and I saw this Clubman so it's Pinald Clubman shave lather moisturizing shave cream and uh, you know we tried some of the of their shave stuff in the tub and it was more like a lotion and it didn't lather and wasn't any good I mean it works but uh, it didn't lather with a brush so why worry but this says shave lather and in the instructions, it says to put in your soap, in your palm, and make you rub your hands and make you a lather and put it on. So I'm thinking it's going to lather with a brush. We're going to find out. And we're going to find out with the old uh, re-knotted Ever-Ready 650 PB. If I remember, that's what this thing is. The paint's already started to fade off of it. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is that we re-knotted with the uh, Badger knot there. But we're going to give all that a try. And the uh, French Market Chicory Coffee today is uh, in my Canadian mug. Thanks, Patrick. I still use it. How you like that? Yes, there will be a Canadian shave coming before long. I promise. I think I said that before. Anyway, it's going to get here. No doubt about it. All right, so the shave soap here, just like the, uh, or the cream here, just like the soap, has the uh, classic vanilla scent to it in my opinion it's definitely not the classic uh, clubman scent at all it's uh it's definitely i think the classic vanilla scent i'm not sure why they went with the classic vanilla as opposed to going with the uh you know the traditional clubman scent doesn't matter to me it's still a good scent you know but i'm not going to complain too much so we're going to do like we always do we're going to start out with a more of a dryish brush get our cream going oh yeah I think we're going to get a lather out of it looks like go back for some more water very nice scent and I'm assuming that the lather is going to be good because it is a Pinal product back for some more water now it's not lathering exactly like some of the others would maybe it just needs more water We'll play with it and see here. 
So there are some brushless creams that I've used that actually lather pretty good. Uh, the uh, Kiss My Face is an example of that. It lathers really well. And they had the uh, Real Shaving Company. Now, I don't know if they're still making this stuff or not. I picked it up at Rite Aid at one time. And the last couple of times I've been there before Rite Aid went away, I didn't see it. But it was a good soap. I haven't used it in a while, but it was good. So I don't know if they're still making it or not. But those are just examples of uh, creams that were meant to be brushless that, that actually lather good. And then, of course, you got some of them that just won't lather no matter what. So... Burt's Bees, I remember trying something they had that they were calling shaving cream, and it was just more of a black goop, as I recall. I don't know. Anyway, the Clark. Oh, it's going to be a very nice shave. This is a really simple design, and it's a razor that I still think, and I said it before and I'll say it again, it's a razor that I still think if, uh, could be put into modern production. But then again, I am not an engineer and I'm not a machinist and I don't build things and do things, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. But this seems like it wouldn't be that hard. So this is a very nice light razor. And it doesn't have it's a what I would call a mid aggressive feeling it doesn't have a ton of aggressive feel to it but it is definitely not a real mild feeling razor either but we had a couple of days of growth I didn't show that off when we started and it's already taken care of knocking that down good got a good slick feeling to the cream there let's put a little more water on it we'll go back for a second pass still got plenty in the brush So you see, you face lather creams just like anything else. Not hard to face lather a cream. I've always, you know, you always got the great, well, you know, you got a bowl out of creams. And, no, you don't. No, you don't. Use a bowl for your soup. Well, there we go. So I almost got scratches on Snowball today. Snowball being my ram. I'm coming down the road out here. Had me a cigar going, had the radio playing, cruising along, and all of a sudden there's this Tundra beside me, an older model Tundra. Beat the crap in back, and he had dents all in it, scratches. And uh, as we're going through an intersection, almost comes across and catches me on a quarter panel. I eased over and he eased back over, and away we went. This so happened I had a really wide spot there in the road because we were coming across an intersection. A little further up the road, he gets up beside me and I'm running speed limit at 40 miles an hour. And again, he comes across and this time he comes really, really, really close to tagging me on the front quarter panel. It was close enough I thought he had me, to be honest. So I get up and he slowed down and I look over and it's a kid on a cell phone. Coming down the interstate today, coming back across, I was running the interstate coming into Baton Rouge. There was a guy pulling a trailer ahead of me. And all of a sudden, he's all slowing down and up on the line and running around. And I let him get back over and I pull up beside him and sure enough, on the phone. Mm -mm. What outlaw cell phones, boys and girls? That's what they ought to do. We need to go dig the guy up that invented cell phones and shoot him a couple times. I'm telling you. I use them. I pay most of my bills on a smartphone. Do these videos on a smartphone. But uh, all these folks that can't, can't disconnect and be away from their phone for more than a couple of minutes don't know so much about all of that. So look what we got there from that shave. Man, that's nice. Razor does give a good shave, and this soap also feels really good. 
wonder if it's got menthol in it. I almost feel a little cooling effect. Well, I know I feel a little cooling effect, like maybe it's got menthol in it. Let me see if I can find the ingredients real quick while we're sitting here. <sighs> Algae extract. Flower extract. Menthol. Menthol, yep. So, this is a menthol cream. That's what I'm feeling. Now, I'm not a huge fan of menthol. But at the same time, I'm not against menthol either. So, uh, the menthol in there feels kind of nice. Nice and cool in there. That's all right. All right, so here we go. We're going to splash on with some witch hazel. Get us a good slick. Go for our clean up around here. Very nice agile little razor. Well, thank you for the suggestion on using the Clarks. This is a very fun little razor to use. Does yeah, the job very well. It's maneuverable, so I can even use it good up around the goatee and everything. We in good shape. Alrighty, well that's gonna do it for me. I'm fixing to get ready and get on to work. Hope y'all have a good evening where you are. Everything's going good. We've actually got a little cool front coming through. And it was in the uh, 70s this morning. It may be getting into the upper 60s, I understand. So that's a nice break after all the summer heat and humidity we have around here. Nice break indeed. So we're going to splash on a little bit of the Pinal Classic Vanilla, which is a very, very nice barbershoppy scent, in my opinion. It goes on nice and easy with no... No sparkle, no alcohol burn, which means we got a good shave out of it. Look at there, how you like that right there. I like that right there with peas and carrots. That's how I like that right there. All right, well, y'all have a good afternoon. I'm going to say a quick thank you to the new folks that have subscribed. Uh, it's always great to get new subscribers in. We appreciate y'all. The new people signing up at Toast, we appreciate y'all too. And, uh, you know, we'll try to keep things going. Next time, I think it'll be the Lady Gillette. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll roll right along for you. You have a great afternoon, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Happy shaves to you.